there is so much going on in the world right now that it is hard to miss and it's hard to not know and I'm okay with that I am I guess you could say I am in gratitude of that because there are so many injustices in the world especially around my people black people in America there are two Americas and the America that I experience and the America that my people, black people experience is not the America that other people experience. Um, I would say my white counterparts experience and mainstream media only shine light on our version of what's going on in America when we shine light on what's going on in our version of America, when we shout it from the rooftops, when we record it on our phones, when we share it on your newsfeed, when we send it down your Instagram timelines and your Facebook timelines, when we get to the point where we can no longer be silenced, that is when the rest of America gets to experience what we experience and it keeps happening and there are minor changes that occur and it's almost like they want to pacify us and make us complacent well you guys keep complaining about this and you keep protesting this so we'll give you these few things these small wins that are supposed to I don't even know what I as much as we fight for our rights as much as we fight for our ability to live they just don't hear us. It's mind boggling that we have to keep saying that we deserve to live. We deserve to not be shot in our own homes. We deserve to not be shot in our back when we're trying to run towards safety because we are 10 times more afraid of you than you are of us. We are nine times more likely to not make it home to our families than you are when you encounter us. I feel like, especially when it comes down to police brutality, police officers are automatically on edge when they see people of color and they see us as a threat and they see us as a danger and they don't realize that we see them in the same light. And if anybody's going to walk away from this altercation, if anybody's gonna walk away from this situation, it is more likely going to be the police officer than it is going to be me that it is going to be my brother or my cousin or my father or any black male female in America. You, we can't keep allowing police officers the argument of saying that they feared for their life. We can't keep allowing them to have the argument that they didn't know if we had a gun. They didn't know if they were going to make it home. They didn't know the severity of the situation. So they may have possibly overreacted because when we overreact, we end up dead. When we remain calm, we end up dead. In a situation when it comes down to us interacting with white America, especially in a situation where it becomes life or death, it typically ends in our death. And that is what we're protesting. We're protesting our right to be able to survive an interaction in an altercation with a white person. We're protesting our ability to jog and, and remain fit and try to remain healthy without being shot down like a dog. That's not the purpose of this video. The purpose of this video is not to inform you I am not the black voice. If you're looking to get a black person to explain it to you, if you're looking for a black perspective, I am not that person. I am not your token black girl. Um, if you are used to my channel, you know that I am full of energy. I am full of life. I am always wearing makeup. Um, even when I talk about my books, I have makeup on. And today is just me being as real and as transparent as I can possibly be because as you can see, I have on absolutely no makeup because this situation and this topic is so near and dear to me. And 
it's it's my life it's my livelihood it's the life of the people that I know and I love and the life of my family members and I'm not here to deliver it in a way that makes you feel comfortable I'm not here to soften the blow if you are uncomfortable with what's going on in the world that is the point the point of our protest is to put it in your face and to let you know the uncomfortable cringy feeling that you feel when you see us being murdered on your Facebook or when you see us protesting in the street when we're being shot down with rubber bullets and tear gassed and we're crying in the streets because we are protesting police brutality that is our real life experience and just as uncomfortable as you are watching it just as much as it makes you cringe and it makes the hair stand up on your neck that is the reality of what we go through that is the reality of what we live through and that is the point of the protest to put it in your face to make america as uncomfortable with the things that they are complacent with to the point where they change it to let america know that you cannot silence us. You cannot put us in the background and tell your American story the way that you want to and think that we're gonna go along with it. We are not here to paint you a pretty picture. We're not here to fit into your pretty picture. We are what you guys have made of us. You have oppressed us, you have targeted us, you have killed us, you have divided us. And so now this is what's left. And we are American. And we're not gonna go back to our country. We built this country, this is our country. We're not going anywhere. We are just as American as our white counterparts. We are just as American as the patriots that people worship, our founding fathers, the people who they say founded this country and built this country, we were there. We're in the background of every historical event that you can name in American history. There hasn't been one thing that has occurred where black people were not involved in some way or affected in some way. We are the veins and the bloods and the soils and the roots of this land. And our experience is still an American experience. And so if you do not know what's going on or you would like to be told what is going on, please pick up your phone. There are websites, there are news stories, there are podcasts. If you need examples, I like to listen to the New York Times podcast called The Daily. There's one by Vox News called Vox Today. Um, there's NPR News Up First, I believe it's called. These are great news podcasts that will update you on what's going on in the world and let you know exactly the caliber and the depth of what's happening out there. You cannot continue to live in a bubble because we're popping them. We're bursting bubbles. We're leveling the playing field. And the point of this video today is to specifically talk about booktubers because in the booktube community, white booktubers gain success faster. They gain sponsorships faster. They get recognition faster than black YouTubers. When you are reviewing a book, typically when you type it in on YouTube, the first 10 to 20 people that you see listed as a booktuber or coming up in booktuber searches will be a white person. Um, there are booktubers of color and this is where colorism comes into play because most of the booktubers who are black that are more universally accepted are ones that are light skinned or lighter than their darker counterparts and they are of other descents and some of them might be mixed races and I'm not, I'm not here to attack them at all. I'm just saying that it is a long road to glory if you are a black booktuber, especially if you are a black booktuber who is darker skin, who has kinkier hair, who is heavier set. Um, I've come across so many booktubers across YouTube and when I was looking for other black booktubers to support, they were not as easy to find. And the ones that I did find that have amazing content, they did not have as many followers as I expected them to. And these are people that I noticed have been on YouTube for three, four, over five years, and they are still struggling to gain traction with their following. And I don't think that that's okay. And it's not just the book tube community it is bookstagram it is the book world um, for those of you who may not be aware most book outletters or booksellers don't 
sell as many books as they used to um, because people are just not reading as much as they were before they're not into literature as much as they were before so book sellers don't have, have the space or the budget to just sit a book on a shelf for one to two to three months that does not move and hope someday somebody will stumble upon this gem and purchase it and fall in love with it most book retailers are looking to sell new york best time sellers um, they're looking to sell best-selling authors or books that gain a lot of traction that is buzzed about that is being talked about and shared and retweeted on social media those are the books that they buy in bulk and those are the ones that they expect to move because they need to make as much money from their books as possible it's a cause and effect situation because now they're only buying books that are super talked about that they know is gonna sell because they're trying to uphold their business and the books that are talked about that are shared on bookstagram and booktube are typically books by white authors and so this video is a call to action where if you are watching me and for one if i'm the only black booktuber that you have not okay i am not your token black girl i am not your splash of color i am not your connection to the black world or the world of color period you need to get on youtube you need to search there will be a slideshow on this video of amazing reads by amazing black authors that you can check out uh, one of the misnomers that I don't like about black authors is that we only or they is that black authors only write about slavery and racism and social injustices and that is something that needs to be talked about and I'm not going to shame them for that I'm not going to make black authors feel bad for telling our story but that is not the only thing that we write about there are black authors who have wrote fantasy books, amazing sci-fi stories, topian stories, romance stories, books of genres that you love and you can find an author who has written a beautiful story or is telling a beautiful story and they are black. So there will be a slideshow occurring on the screen. If you see any books that seem of interest to you, be sure to check them out. But I am not here to list off amazing black authors because the call to action is for you to do the work. No one is going to give you the black perspective or the black narrative. It is too much information in the world. It is too easy for you to gain knowledge. And I'm done telling it. I'm done telling it. And so if you if you're looking down your timeline and you're someone who watches book reviews, book hauls, book vlogs all the time and you don't have a lot of black booktubers on your following, if you don't have black booktubers who are darker skinned, black booktubers who have an African accent, black booktubers who are plus size women, if you do not have anyone of true diversity in your list of subscriptions, I implore you to go out and search, to go out and find some of these amazing content creators that I have discovered. If you're looking at your bookshelf and you do not have books or more than one book by amazing black authors, I implore you to go out and buy them. I implore you to go out and read them um, because it is already hard enough to be a black author and to be a New York Times best-selling author. It is already hard enough to be a black YouTuber with a huge following and gain a big enough platform. Um, so we would love the opportunity to share our thoughts with you guys. We would love the opportunity for you guys to come to our channel and get to know us and love us because not because we're black, not because it's the cool thing to support right now, but because you genuinely like our content. I do want to speak on a situation that recently happened with Book Outlet and Naya Reads and Smiles. If you are someone who has watched my channel before, you may have noticed that I did a book haul recently from thriftbooks.com. Book Outlet and Thriftbooks are not the same website, but they essentially have the same kind of idea where you are able to buy super discounted books for amazing prices. And Book Outlet actually has a program that they do with other bookstagram or booktubers that they sponsor on their website. Naya Reads and Smiles is a black YouTuber or a black booktuber here on YouTube and she was sponsored and listed on their website. A black YouTuber reached out to them on Twitter, Book Outlet, asking them 
why they only have one person of color amongst their five i think they typically have five four or five booktubers that they list on their website um why they only have one person which is naya reason smiles and they wrote back a super offensive um tweet that has gotten a lot of argument and controversy around it so they tweeted back something that was offensive and basically said that they only look for youtubers who are family friendly um which struck a nerve for a lot of people because that's essentially saying that black youtubers aren't family friendly and that's not okay and naya reason smiles immediately canceled her contract with them and posted a video saying that she in no way wanted to be their token black girl and it was not something that she supported and that she should have looked more deeply into what the company represented and who they were before she accepted any type of contract or agreement with them and i admire her for that so much she has really great content on her channel so be sure to check it out i just wanted to say that it should not get to the point where we my people have to die by the bulk because this year we've seen more than one, more than just the death of George Floyd. Um, we've seen too many black people having to lose their lives before there was outrage, before there were protests, before there were people speaking up to support us. We should not have to die by the bundles for people to understand that we live in a separate America and we still live in a segregated experience of America and it is not okay. It is not. We deserve the same opportunities. We deserve the same level of respect. We deserve the same level of benefit of the doubt that an officer would give to his white counterpart to us. We deserve it. It is disgusting that the people who are less likely to do gun damage, the people who are less likely to fire a gun at an officer or at a white person are the ones who suffer at the hands of gun violence and this level of magnitude. And it is disgusting that George Floyd didn't even die by the hands of a gun. He didn't even die by a bullet. George Floyd didn't even die by a bullet. He died on the ground at the mercy of racism. Let that sink in. This man was choked to death by racism. This man died of asphyxiation by racism. Racism killed him. Racism is killing millions of black Americans. Racism has killed millions of black Americans. Racism should not continue to be the death of us it just shouldn't i do want to point out that there are booktubers who are white that do recognize that there are injustices in the world they do recognize that there are injustices here on booktube and they have posted videos calling them out and I support them. They will be listed in my description box below so that you may check out their content because besides speaking on political issues such as this, we are all in this for the love of books. We are all in this for the love of literature and that's just what we want to do. We don't want to gain followers just because they need to follow a black YouTuber or they need to follow a YouTuber of color. It should just be diverse. There are so many different genres of books in the world, <laughs> so many, and not all booktubers review the same books. So it is quite possible for you to have a booktuber reviewing one of every genre and still be able to come across black creators, black content creators, black book reviewers. I appreciate you for stopping by my channel. I appreciate you for commenting and listening and liking and subscribing in advance. If you would like to suggest any books that I didn't list here on
um, down in the, the comments below so that other people can check them out please feel free to if you would like to list any booktubers that white or black it doesn't matter that I did not list in my description box below please feel free to comment them um, these are just people that I was moved by what they said when I watched their videos and I really appreciate them shining light on it and that is all that I have for you guys. Please stick around, check out any of my other videos. You will not be disappointed. And if you are only following me because you need a black person and I'm the only black person on your booktube list, please exit stage left. I will see you guys next time. Bye.